Well, this is a great day for the Champions Cup the final, which is going to be contested here, and uh, it's got to be played to a conclusion. And hopefully our voices will stand up to the conclusion. It's uh, Martin Tyler here and Alan Smith. Well, I hope we rise to the occasion, Martin, and I hope these two teams do. One of the most extraordinary uh, European contest that semi-final in 2013 where Bayern knocked out Barcelona by a margin of seven clear goals you'd never thought that was possible so there's some of these Barcelona players playing in this match who will remember that yeah I mean it just sent shockwaves through European football that and uh, it's taken Barcelona a bit of time to recover Vida he wants to clear his lines here but make sure it... opportunity now They've got him to score here. Now the ball's come into him and he's just knocked it off first time and to the keeper's right, he's clawing at thin air. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? into the corner of the net. An equaliser from Jordi Alba, and he won't hit any better than that today. Real philosophy with that one into the bottom right. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Messi. Messi! That's a very good goal. The goal for Messi. The keeper's got no chance because he's hit it so hard to his right. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. Jordi Alba. The shot's on, and it's in the net, and it's Barcelona who scored. What a goal, the crowd are on the feet, first time finish, always a thrilling sight. Now let's take another look at the goal. Here's a chance, and that's a goal for Barcelona. A goal from Neymar, and he's kept his head to just place that into the bottom right, made it look easy. A different angle on it here. One manager has uh, pumped up his players, got them ready, better than his opposite number, that seems to be the case at the moment. And here comes the counter-attack. Shot on! Super goal! Well, two against the goalkeeper, and they managed to stay on side and worked it perfectly, really. Yeah, they did, and players of this standard should be able to work it perfectly. And uh, the pass was released at just the right moment, taking the keeper out of the equation. Another angle on it here. <laughs> well, that's it. That's the final whistle. They have won the Champions Cup.
Well, these are moments to savor, aren't they, for the winners? They've worked so hard over the course of this campaign. No wonder they're delighted. Worked so hard through this campaign to get this result and this title. They really do seem to have a, a great togetherness within that camp, a great team spirit. And it's seen them well. They step for the souvenirs, small trinkets really, but they mean so much. Well, there's only so many trophies on offer during the course of the season. And that's why it does mean so much for any footballer to be in this position, to, to be on that podium, wonderful stuff. It's such a fantastic feeling to win any football match, but to win one when there's major silverware at stake, almost defies description. I think they'd be delighted as well, Martin. In fact, they played well over the course of the final, that 90 minutes when they really did have to show what they've got. They responded to the challenge, and that makes it all the more satisfying. Well, it's quite a scene here. Suddenly, having looked tired towards the end of the game, they found remarkable energy. Yeah, they'll keep going all night now, I'm sure of that. The adrenaline will be pumping. Great team, great result.